Hey everybody, this is Jesse with Fishing the Dream. And I got a new kayak about a couple days ago. I thought I'd do a complete walkthrough on it. I put a short video out on my YouTube page, Fishing the Dream. And I told everyone that I would do a complete walkthrough on this uh, new Hoodoo Tempest 120p pedal drive kayak, which is my first. Uh, went to uh, Nashville to Music City Outdoors and I wasn't really looking for a pedal drive kayak. I was really looking for a paddle type fishing kayak. I was really looking for a recon, but my wife pointed out this uh, kayak here and for the price, I couldn't walk away from it. And it's basically about the same length as my Kusa, my Jackson Kusa paddle type kayak. And so it really does about the same thing except for the fact that it's a pedal drive. I can go a little further. Uh, I can access places I couldn't before in a timely fashion. And like I say, we'll go through the com uh, complete walkthrough on it and see what you think of it. And we'll go from there. Thank you. All right, I'll start at the front of the kayak, which you can see it has a grab handle down here that can be replaced. It's got two uh, Allen bolts in it that are easily replaceable. And I did notice uh, on the kayak, the only drain plug is on the front, but I think the reason that the drain plug is on the front is because the rear rudder is underneath the kayak instead of a flip down, which it kind of gets in the way when you're, and you don't want to lean the kayak on the rudder on the backside. So basically, I think the design has made it that way so that you don't damage the rudder when you're trying to drain the water out. So we'll move a little further down the kayak. It has a double locking lid on it with a bag inside that is actually tethered. And uh, you can put all your dry goods in there and it has a rubber seal around the base of it. I can't open it completely because the pedal drive is flipped up right now. As soon as I, uh, as soon as I let the pedal drive down, I'll uh, show you show you what we've got to work with here. The console in the middle removes, as you can see, through the center of the kayak. And uh, once you put the pedal drive system back down in it, you can put the cover back on. The pedal drive system just flips right down in it. It has these keepers that keep the main base of the pedal drive in place and then you just snap this one forward and that locks the drive itself in place and then you can put the cover back on so when you are pedaling you don't get water up through the floor causing you to get wet or you know it's just convenient to put your drink in and put some fishing lures on it it has some track mounts for other devices ram mounts your your uh, fish finder got some nice padding in the bottom of it I will say that uh, the padding is really thick and it's really nice. And another thing I noticed about this kayak, the floor is very, very solid. It's not got a whole lot of give. A lot of kayaks are kind of flimsy in the middle. This one's very solid. And it also has, it also has 10 scupper plugs in it. There's one underneath the seat and six more out here on the deck. And then if you go to the very back, there's two in the back. And there's also one inside the storage compartment here, which I'll show you here in a minute. It also has a anchor trolley on both sides of the kayak for left hand right handers. So I think that's pretty convenient. It's a pretty good idea on their part. Inside the kayak here, you'll notice that there's some mounting bra or bolts here. So that is for foot grabs, for adjustable foot grabs if you want to put those in instead of using the drive unit. And the drive unit, I've got to say, is pretty smooth. And I've seen this drive unit on other kayaks, like the uh, Slayer and other, and other types of kayaks. And you can see there are also some mounting holes here. Top and bottom, there are some extra mounting bracket holes. So I believe that you can actually put a rod holder out here if you wanted to and bolt it down. So as you can see, I'm stroking the pedals there. You can see the prop turning underneath. And it has a nice long skeg on it. 
so it's protecting the prop and the prop is interchangeable so if you break one you can always put one, a new one back on and uh, like I said this kayak is about the same width as my Jackson Kusa which I like the actual use of the Jackson Kusa on rocky you know rocky creeks with some obstacles because they do turn very well um, it's one of the better kayaks I think for river fishing and this one doesn't uh, differ too much design wise for hull wise from the Kusa to this kayak and I really like it and as you can see the seat is very comfortable fully adjustable and to slide this seat up and up forward if you're shorter legged to get to the drive unit you just slide it loosen the loosen the bolts slide it forward and it locks back down in place and it also does tip forward to access underneath of here for maybe if you want to put some extra boxes for fishing equipment and let's move on back here to the the storage box i like the idea of this storage box but the one thing I did notice, if you are a shorter person and you do scoot the seat up further, it's going to be harder for you to get into this box. Because if the seat's forward, you're going to have a little bit of a gap between you and the box. The good thing about the box, though, is it has a scuffer plug in it. So you could access this and use it as a cooler also. You could put a little ice in there, put some sandwiches and some drinks in there, and you're set to go. And you can always drain the water out the bottom when you're done. And it has a handy snap strap on top of it to keep it keep it down you have the two rod holders is all it comes with so you will probably if you fish for more with more than one or two fishing rods you're probably going to have to put a uh, fish crate in the back of it and the other that the other drawback to the fish crate putting one in the very back here is that this lid here sticks up off the base of the kayak which makes the crate sit uneven you may have to even it up with something underneath of it to keep the crate level. Which there are also some extra bolt holes here for, say if you want to put a uh, bar across here with two floats out to the side of it like outriggers. I think they make a bracket for that that you can actually put outriggers on it to make it even more uh, stable in the water. And also you have some nice grab handles on the side. Both sides have them, and on this side, you have a, an actual rod holder, or paddle holder. So, let's move a little bit further. Here is the rudder control, which, it's it's pretty sturdy. It seems to, it works smoothly. The rudder moves back and forth perfectly. I'll show you. I will, I will say this, I've been told that uh, those type of rudder mount, that, that type of rudder is not as quick turning as the over the top. It seems like the over the top has a better uh, turning radius than this style. But this being a, uh, a paddle kayak or a uh, pedal drive kayak, you could always put it in reverse whether or not you know you, you want to try to get yourself in a spot. You don't always have to arc it and turn into somewhere. You can always back up and try again. Another thing about the uh, pedals, uh, I would probably replace the pedals or I would probably take the straps off, definitely. I've been told if you wade and you get a little gravel in your shoes and wear these on top of your shoes, it will wear your the top of your feet raw. So, like I say, I would probably, I would probably take those off. And you can also see back here the rudder control for the rear rudder. That's where it's attached from the cables. It also has a nice grab handle. And they've also made this to where you can put it over the top style rudder if you want. So it's already got the hole, it's already got the uh, lay down in it so you can flip the rudder back up. Also comes with a very nice strap for tie down. And I'm not quite sure what these mounting bolts are for but I'm sure they've got a, uh, a need. They've got a few of them down the side of it. But as for, for me, I think it's gonna be an all around good kayak. It seems to be very sturdy. 
like I said, I've not seen very many of them with a floor as sturdy as this. It, uh, when you step into it, it's very solid. It's even more solid than my Kusa on the flooring. And it seems to be about the same width as my Kusa, which means it'll probably be a good river kayak. And, you know, I don't have to have the pedal drive in the river, but if, the, if, the, if I could use it, and I, you know, option-wise, I'll use it if I can. If I, you know, don't, I'll just take it off and leave it. I'll leave it in the truck and go just paddle. But as far as I can tell, it's a very well-made kayak. And another price point is, for most pedal kayaks, this kayak is only $1,200. $1, With tax, about fourteen. dollars But if you go looking for a pedal drive kayak, with as many options as this has got and the quality of build, you're not going to find very many of them. I really do believe this is a quality piece of equipment and I believe that you would like it if you purchased it. And you'll see more videos on it uh, pretty soon. I'm going to install a uh, power pole on the back of it for shallow water anchoring because I do a lot of stream fishing and there's a lot of places when you stop or you want to stop and can't and the current drags you along that you would like to use a power pole and that's what it's going to be equipped on there for so i'll probably be putting that out there here pretty soon but i appreciate you uh taking a uh, look at the new hoodoo tempest 120p and if you like this type of video hit the like button and subscribe i appreciate your support thank you